Let's talk to Craig Earlham. He's a senior market analyst for Oanda. Craig, we're going to talk the FTSE 100 next. You sent a slide. Without further ado, the FTSE 100. What are your thoughts here? Well, I'm not going to be so um, so ballsy as to call a top. Uh, I think the, the, these things would it's it take it's top pickers <laughs> exactly. And uh, when it works, you always like a genius. But yep. when it doesn't, you try to shrug it off, right? Uh, but what I would say is, I mean, we are look, we, we are seeing that series of lower highs now. So it seems that at the very least there's some form of consolidation going on in the FTSE. I think the the fact that we've seen a bit of a resurgence in the pound um, over the past few months has helped uh, has help to drive this. We know that there's been this inverse correlation between the pound and the FTSE since uh, the Brexit vote last year, largely driven by the size of the moves that we saw in the pound. And I think it's around 85% of profits generated by FTSE 100 companies are from outside the country, so it actually supports earnings. Uh, but I think the fact that we've seen a bit of a resurgence in the pound is, is weighing a little bit on the FTSE. But we are seeing similar moves in other indices as well. Potentially signs that we do need some consolidation, a bit of um, a, a bit of time uh, for things to catch up elsewhere. Maybe signs that we're seeing a bit of a correction. I think there's a few key, uh, quite clear levels on this chart right now. I think a breakthrough 74.50 takes us back through that trend line, uh, which would suggest that we're seeing a resurgence to the upside. 74.50 key support below the market. Uh, that's key resist. That looks like a notable resistance at the okay. moment. 7,500 above that. Uh, below, I'm looking at around the 7,300s, that's the lows from July time. We hit that low three times uh, before bouncing higher, so that looks like a notable support level. So, historically, okay, the textbooks have said, in terms of trying to pick tops, you mm. get a warning and then a confirmation. Yep. Would you say that we've had a warning but not a confirmation yet? Exactly. Uh, the warning is the fact that we've, st we've stopped making we've a series of lower higher high. highs, so we're making these series of lower highs. You could say the confirmation is 7,300. I'm not even convinced by that. For me, the confirmation actually is back at 7,100. You can't see where the first trend line uh, support goes back to, but we're talking long-term support and resistance. So I think a breakthrough 7,100 would be the confirmation. 7,200 actually is the 200-day moving average as well. So you're seeing a break of short-term support, 200-day moving average and long-term support right. as well. So that would be the confirmation which I'd like to see, but I think we're a long way from that yet if we do actually see it. So some key chart points there for you to consider. Craig, thank you very much indeed.